Before Charles Xavier and Eric Lenshaw took the names Professor X and Magneto, there were two young men discovering their powers for the first time. Before they were arch enemies, they were closest of friends, working together with other mutants, some familiar, some new, to stop the greatest threat the world has ever known. In the process, a rift between them opened which began the eternal war between Magneto's Brotherhood and the Professor X's X-Men. Hello everyone, welcome to another review and this will be on the movie X-Men First Class. This movie came out back in 2011 and the actors that are in this are Beth Goddard, Bill Milner, Brendan Phil, Corey Johnson, Dimitri Goritzis, Don Creech, Eddie Gashigi, Glenn Morsauer, Gregory Cox. He wasn't really in this. It is he is on my list here. He was there for like what? A second, that's it. Hugh Jackman. James Fornal. James McAvoy. James Wimmer. January Jones. Jason. Jason Bay, Jason Fleming, Jennifer Lawrence, Kevin Bacon, Lucas Till, Ledger Pistol, Matt Craven, Michael Fassbender, Michael Ironside, Michael Medeiros, Nicholas Hoot, Alex Kupu, Oliver Platt, Red Superzilla, Subedzeja, sorry. Randall Batinkoff, Randall Batinkoff, Ray Wise, Rose Byrne, Tony Cohen, Wilfried Hutzholdinger, Zoe Kravitz. Wow. Quite a few actors in this. Quite a few. Um, my thoughts. I actually very much love this movie. Granted, there are better X-Men movies out there, but I still find this one is still very good nonetheless. And that being said, they haven't yet made a bad X-Men movie. They still haven't made a bad one yet. Um, so, storyline-wise, it was actually... It was actually very good. At times, it's it's a little bit boring, not much, but a little bit boring because it's it's slow. Uh, they had to start somewhere, and uh, I guess yeah. Uh, for for what it was worth, there's not too many boring parts. You know, normally, when I say slow movie, uh. I don't say boring because normally with with uh, s slow movies that I know and, and love, yes, they're slow, but they're not boring. This one they had the tendency of being slow, boring at times, if you will. But if you sit through it, most of this is actually pretty fast-paced uh, storyline-wise. The action is all around awesome. Action of this movie is all on awesome. Yeah. Uh, the cast. A great, for the most part, a very good cast. Very good cast. Uh, some of the actors could have been better, but they still did a very good job. But all of them still did a very good job nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, one actor that's in this, uh, I don't really care for him. I really don't. Uh, I've I've seen him in other scenes, be, like uh, the first two, maybe three movies of Transformers. He was also in uh, the show Twenty Four as uh, Aaron Pierce, Glenn Morshower. Yeah, I don't like his acting. I really don't. 
I know there's probably some people out there that do very much enjoy his acting. I do not. I thought he was one of the worst actors in this movie. Yeah. Um, also, Brian, he wasn't there for very long in this movie. A few scenes here and there. Uh, and the graphics. I couldn't ask for anything better for the graphics. It's awesome. All around awesome. Um, so, if I had to rate this movie, what would I give it? Hmm. This is a toughie. This one is a toughie. You know what? I'm actually thinking of giving it a 4 out of 5. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Like I said before, it's not the best X-Men movie out there, but it's not the worst. And... For what well was worth, this is actually supposed to be, um, what do you call them again? I had it in my head right before I did this, I wanted to say, yeah, I wanted to say this. Um, dang it. Wait, prequel. This is a prequel to the other uh, X-Men movies. And uh, it's actually one of the better prequel movies that they've ever done for any franchise I find. Even though it still has its even though this movie still has its cons, um it it actually is one of the better prequels, if you will. Cause most prequels don't end up this 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 good. There's only a few more there's only a few more that I would say is a little bit better than this one, but um, yeah, no, this is actually for a prequel. This was, this was actually uh, one of the better ones for a prequel. Yeah. So like I said before, four out of five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you love this movie or didn't love this movie, you can let me know in the comment section down below. I always love your comments, whether if it's whether if you loved it or hate it. And uh, you can like and subscribe to my uh, channel if you uh, uh, love my videos. So thank you for taking time to watch. Join me for another review I tend to do soon. I am out.